It's a little bit chilly today, but I wanted to take this opportunity while the wall is empty to show you a really simple way that you can use the wall to improve your technique. Because walls can be awesome, but they can also be challenging. When you're an experienced player and you've got fairly grooved technique, you can use them to get repetitions, but you also have a lot less time when you're on the wall. And when you're trying to learn and change your technique, time is really a key factor. So there's a very simple thing that you can do to help use the wall as a fantastic learning tool to help you improve your technique. So I'm going to show you what that is. Hopefully you find it helpful. If you do, it'd be awesome if you could give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel before, it's much appreciated if you could do that as well. So the simple solution for using the wall to develop technique, instead of hitting repeated shots where I need really good footwork, I need fast preparation and I need to have things grooved, all you need to do is just feed yourself the ball hit your shot and then catch the ball and this allows you to focus on specific aspects of your technique because a lot of players struggle with preparation so when you're doing shot after shot you really you don't get much time to prepare you have to be really good with your feet whereas if you're just feeding it I've got much more time to really focus on doing a good quality unit turn I can also work on the spacing, so I can give myself different feeds. I could work on more of a, a wide ball to practice a, spe a specific footwork pattern and think about the spacing on a wide ball. I can give myself an inside out forehand. Again, allow me to think about the spacing and the footwork patterns and the preparation on that ball. You can give yourself shorter balls. That wasn't the best feed, so I can give myself a shorter ball. So I can focus on moving forwards and using a neutral stance. I can give myself a higher ball so I can focus on the spacing and using more of an open stance. So you've got all these different options. It gives you practice as well. Feeding from a continental grip, controlling your feed, changing your grip, getting into whatever grip that you're using for your forehand or your backhand. And it gives you a lot of options. The other thing, that it really helps with is hitting a full stroke because one of the big problems when players are expecting the ball, they're expecting the ball to come back to them quickly instead of hitting through their shot and following through they end up jamming their shot and not using appropriate technique so by feeding yourself i can really focus on making a nice quality stroke hitting through the ball and i've still got time to recover catch the ball and start again. The other thing it really helps with is training you to focus on the ball through contact. One of the biggest problems that players face is they're lifting their head too soon and making inconsistent contact because of that. But here we can really keep the head still through contact because it doesn't matter what happens to the ball. And if I happen to hit my shot, the ball goes past me, it doesn't matter. The goal, the thing that you need to do to improve is get good quality repetitions focusing on the thing. So if the thing that I need to focus on is keeping my head still through contact, I have to train myself to do that. And using a wall where I'm looking up every time is going to achieve the opposite of what I'm trying to do. So a really simple thing, feed yourself on the wall, get quality repetitions. It allows you to focus on what you need to focus on. And then once you've developed more you know, ability with that particular thing that you're working on when you're further along the learning curve and it's becoming more autonomous then you can do continuous repetitions this is something that i did a lot of when i was learning to play left-handed and it was really helpful for me so i'm sure it'll be helpful for you so hopefully you enjoyed this video uh, if you did give me that thumbs up before i close it out i just want to let you know about uh, a resource that i've got for you everything in tennis starts with vision Vision is one of the biggest limiting factors for most players. You have to read what the ball's going, you have to react quickly, you have to be able to judge distance to set up the right distance from the ball, start your swing at the right time, and you have to have the visual skills to track the ball through to contact. The reality is that most players don't have a visual system that functions well enough, and it's one of the big reasons that players struggle to improve. The good news is we can actually train the visual system, and I made a free program to help you get started. I'll place a link to it up there, and I'll place a link down in the description so that you can start working working on it. Okay, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Again, give me that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, much appreciated if you could do that as well. Any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll catch you next time.